Hello, it is May 7th, 2020, and I am sitting in the new and remodeled Glam Corner. I am so excited. I even have lights set up throughout my room. So I have these lights over here, which I got for Christmas. And I don't know if you can really see them going on and off, but I have another set of lights going off over there. And then I also have my Goofy lights that I just set up two weeks ago now. Yeah. So I am about to do a full glam look for my Mother's Day photo shoot that I'm doing with my kids. And my sisters are actually going to be responsible for doing all of the pictures. And I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and start this look. I imagine it's going to take me forever because I usually do 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Actually, that's not the whole truth. It takes me 30 minutes just to do my eyes. So I put my hair up. I had to wrap somewhere. Here it is. I am leaving my hair like this. I already recurled the ends, so this is going to be the hair I am planning to do. The actual look that I am going to be doing that day, I haven't decided on for sure, but I am going to have shells in my hair. I am going to have a wrap in one of the photos. This is the anticipated wrap. Not with any of the hair showing though. Kind of want all the hair hidden. So that's going to be my wrap in one of the pictures or something like that along those lines with a single braid here and a braid here and I'm going to have shells in it. And these are actually the colors. My kids have joggers, blue and green. I have a pink top with a black pencil skirt and a white pencil skirt and then I have a white dress with black blue green and rhinestones in it so Mother's Day is going to be perfect this year I got my kids all hyped up about taking these pictures fruit punk slushy from McDonald's courtesy of my sister Vanessa so I have all these homemade sprays for refreshing my skin in recycled bottles. It's just aloe vera juice with peppermint and orange oil. This is my little facial prep container. I just leave it on my table because I use stuff in it all the time. I wash my face here, I hydrate my face here, I do all that stuff here. So a couple pumps. Mmm, smells so good too. And then I just put on Neutrogena lotion. The little travel size bottles. Because when I had to go travel to see my kids, I would collect a ton of samples from the hotels. The Red Roof Inn, the Holiday Inn, Roadway Inn. Any place I could stay for under $85 a night, I collect lotions and soaps and things so I am listening to the Carl Jenkins album Adamus Songs of Sanctuary I love this album I have the whole album on my phone I do use I can't say this brand but this is what I use for when I'm having a really bad acne breakout and right now I am in the midst of one and when I say a bad acne breakout, I'm just saying it's it's the candy. It 
It's the candy. It's the sugary sweets. And I don't know how to say no. And I am going to be washing all this off, but this is just the stuff that I use when I'm preparing my skin. Rejuvenating eye gel. And I got this stuff from Epsy. So. That's all I use for that. And when I wash my face, these are a few of the things I have been using. Again, from Epsy. That's one. And then I have this Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser Glow recipe. I like this one. I really like this one. All of these are almost empty. And then this has been my pomegranate face mask I have been doing. I did a uh, 31 days of this and I made it stretch. So that's all for getting my skin ready. If I were going outside, I would be using this for my SPF. That just happens to be in there. And then I have all my oils. But the actual brand that I use, hold on. I just pulled this off of the clearance rack at Walmart, but this is what I'm using. This is how I make my facial sprays for refreshing my skin throughout the day. It works. I'm just gonna go put this whole situation over there. Along with that, that's gonna go back up in my closet later. Actual primer. I am almost out of this. I got this from Epsy. I liked it. It was a really good hydrating primer base tart. I can't see anything past my lights in the camera. Let's see if there's any left. Ah. That was probably the last. But guess what? I'm not going to have this on long, so that's all I needed. So that's gone. My eyes is really where I'm focused on. Okay. We are going to move a little closer. Hi. Mm. Okay. Here we go. I actually was not ready. I wasn't. I have all my stuff set out on my table here. Nice and neatly. So I'm just going to show you everything that's going to be going on my face. I mix and match a lot of stuff. So my kids are actually living with me now, so I'm not traveling anymore. I used to have to drive through Canada and go get my kids from Michigan whenever it was my turn to have them. I don't have to do that anymore. So I'm very excited that I'm going to have my kids for this Mother's Day. It's not going to be delayed because I have to travel. And also, I am a part of the graduating class of 2020. I am so excited, overjoyed, and overwhelmed because, of course, we are not graduating as planned. Just gonna use this brush to blend out. So my goal 
and my purpose for this video is to actually do such an extravagant look as never before just to say I can. That's my purpose with every video but I don't do it on every video because I don't wear extravagant everywhere I go. I wear, you know, 10, 10 being baddie. I'm a, not, I'm a, mm, I'm going to say I'm a six and a half. Yeah, I'm a six and a half. On, on the baddie scale. When it comes to doing my makeup. And that was just going to school to be a teacher. When I work at the group home, I believe... A decent appearance is required because you never know when you're gonna have to take an individual out well not now but you know in the past you never know when you were gonna be taking an individual out on an outing or having to do an emergency department visit because the individuals I work with they do have a tendency to do frequent visits for one reason or another. It could be just your, your regular doctor's appointment. And I'm going to use set. And not a lot because my eyes dry out so quickly. Um, again, it could be just the way that I'm applying things, my application. I am not a licensed professional. I just do what works for me. And most of the times, it turns out okay. Again, unless I'm going to go meet Michelle or Barack Obama, I think my day-to-day -day makeup routine is sufficient this was not the brush I wanted to use I just can't find the brush that I want to use there it is because I want to even face of course So, not to say that was pointless, but I kind of want to use, this is supposed to be L'Oreal Liquid Liner, but I'm going to use it to darken up my, for my cut crease. Before we go there. I live for a smoky eye. I have not developed the skill of talking while I do my makeup, so enjoy the music in the background. I might end up just speeding this video up and downloading. I know what I can talk about though. Ever since I have started my vlog and started uploading three or four videos a day, I have been trying to learn several quick tricks to getting my videos downloaded, including how to split them, trim them to the point where each clip that I want to show is under 
10 seconds, speeding it up, taking a volume out all at once before I start trimming and clipping. And then once I have all of the clips I want trimmed to size, I go through and I delete the rest. And that's how I get most of my videos down to the size I get them. Editing is a huge hassle, but once I got a system together, oh, it just got so much easier. Like my whole life got easier once I figured out how I was going to develop a pattern. And then my rule of thumb is if you do it right the first time, you don't have to do a lot of editing. So I know what I'm going to say because I practice things in my head all day long. Like I'm going to say this, I'm going to do this. I don't write out a script. Actually, half my scripts are already written because I journaled for almost 30 years of my 35 year life. Right now, I am going to have to do a lot of cleanup. I admire makeup artists who have such precision that they don't have to clean up a lot. They could just apply their makeup and it's just sharp and clean right away. But the way I do my makeup requires a lot of cleanup, like a lot. And I'm glad for the beauty techs out there who are beginning to show us how to get those clean, crisp applications without wasting product, without wasting time, just without being wasteful. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know why, but I always favor this side of my face over this side of my face. It just blends out better on the right than it does on the left. So that's where we are so far. And I am good at this one. So back to editing. I have started to put myself on a schedule. And my schedule is to start recording my workouts, which used to happen once a week, but now they happen three times a week. And I wanna go here. Same brush. I used to work out once a week, but now I am working out somewhere between three times a week and I'm recording those workouts. Just blend that out. And in addition to working out three times a week and recording three times a week, I try to get everything that I record edited and download it the same day. I know that's a lot, but I feel like right now the urgency to do it while I have the time, it's just there. So much urgency, even in this time of rest that we currently have and should be appreciating, I have this sense of urgency. Now, and I'm still homeschooling. I'm giving my children the attention that they need. I'm pretty much, I tell them I'm at work between 10 and 5. I'm doing online tutoring or online professional development. I am doing my Spanish class online, which the last day is the 18th. And I'm so grateful because it is actually very mentally exhausting on me at this point. Graduation being so close and my grade has to be above an 86% for me to pass and my credits be applicable. So I know that I'm doing well, but I do have a meeting scheduled tomorrow with my professor at 11 so we can go over my work 
or my oral presentation. Having said that, I'm going into this blue to match this blue here. And that's going to go right over here. Going over the black from the NYX palette. Anyway, as I was saying, I basically do my editing between 10 and 5. If I don't get it done, I move out to the living room where my kids are. And I edit out there because they do just want me present most of the times they just want me out there with them so I go out there with them and we watch Netflix movies we talk about their video games they have this newfound love for Call of Duty and I let them enjoy their games I don't take them off of it they're 10 the family intelligence has already been passed on to them I'm not worried about them being into games. They're 10. Too violent of games, then yes. I will sit them down and have them do something different. Back into my eyeshadow base. I am always fascinated when I see people doing the cut crease. It has taken me almost four years just to get to this point with my makeup, the investment, the practice, the skill. I probably have some 358 videos in the collection of tutorials that I've been watching over the years. And I'm pretty sure I follow over 70 different beauty bloggers and influencers, including Jackie Ina and CK Beauty. Is my top two. I watch so many. Red Fairy. Your girl's too much or too much mouth. She is hilarious. Probably couldn't tell that I watch them as bad as I am sometimes when I'm doing my makeup compared to them, but we all gotta start somewhere. So that is a thick enough layer for what I want to do. Again, I'm going for a peach look. And I'm going to do that with this palette so let's see the closest to what I want is right here that's where I'm going for so that's the color I'm wearing this shirt is closest to what I am wearing for Mother's Day not the texture or the color the color is closest to what I'm wearing on Mother's Day this actually looks more pink than peach but it'll work for now I realized that my posture needs improvement. 
I sit back in my chair way too much. Hmm. How do, how do you guys do it? <laughs> I like just getting into this recording business and I record and I realize I'm looking down the whole time. I make weird faces the whole time. This is difficult. This is coming out a mess. Yeah, I'm going to make it work. Can't turn back now. Because I know what I want to do. And I know I can fix it. I know my first mistake is using that brush. So I can probably just switch and there we go that is a really pretty color that is the color I want for Mother's Day It almost looks like a uh, foil peach. So again, the colors are peach, blue and green, like the blue and green that's in my head wrap. I'm going to go back into this blue. My boys will be wearing blue and green joggers. So. See, coming up on 30 minutes and I'm just getting done with my eyes. I pretty much want to just put this white in the inner corner. I also have hooded eyes. Oh, that looks green. Ooh. I think I might have had green in there. Did I? That's kind of pretty. I feel like it's all going to come together by the time I'm done doing what I need to do. This is the part that always gets to me. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead and we're gonna move on to eyeliner. So, this is, all my liners I currently have come from Epsi and this is what I've been favoring lately. That's what we're gonna use. I 
I could never get that complete wing up and out correct. So that's what we're going to try. And that's why I'm not too worried about anything being blended down here because it's going to be covered. I do wish I could have done a better job with over here though. But I have learned to leave things alone. But apparently I haven't learned enough. That's as good as a cut crease as I do. And it's already like drying and cracking on me. A learning process. Ain't nobody gonna be that close to my face except for this video. So here we go. My wing liner. And I know for a fact, when I close my eyes, I'll have to show you my son's shoes because my eye right now looks like his shoe. It has that rainbow look to it. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do wing liners. Well, I do. It's just... They always go wrong. Either they're not even... Oof. Well, I did it. Mm. And I'll clean it up whenever I am done with uh, the rest of my face. I am not done with my eyes, by the way. Once I do my foundation and everything else. this side better.
feel like it's dried out. <sighs> so... I do have another. Which is Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Wide Lash London. It has another point, so I'm going to go between this one and the other. I just want it for the point. And then I'm going to go back and clean up. That's all. This one is got a little more liquid in it. And then go back into my next palette. Get some more of the black. Wow, look at eyeliner so hard. Probably be easier to do if I kept my eyes half open. Boom. Just can't leave well enough alone. I need to leave it alone. Now I don't want to leave it alone. All right, I will leave that there. And now, foundation. I wear a lot of mixtures. This is Cheeks. into the case reverse contour contour
that is all. And my music has stopped. Come back, come back. It's coming together. It's coming together. I have to remember to do my brows because I recently just did my brows with a, uh, I need to learn what things are called around here. I trimmed them with this, the flawless, I got it from Walmart for like $5, but I trimmed my brows and shaped them and I have been forgetting to do them. Because I like the way that they look, just as they are. But since this is supposed to be a full glam look, we are going to add the brows. We are not going to the brows out. And I probably shouldn't whisper in my videos as while I'm editing, volume has been a huge concern. And it's crazy because I'm the one sitting the closest to the speaker, but... I can hear my kids in the background. My sisters run around uh, cat and dog fighting all the time. Cat and mouse. Either one. They just, they're worse than the boys sometimes. They came running in my room the other day trying to get away from each other. Jumping over my bed. Back and forth. While I'm recording. I lost like five minutes. Mm-hmm. It, I'm not mad at them. I love having my sisters live with me. Two of them, the the youngest of my my little sis my little sisters. One is 25. The other will be turning 20 on August 18th. And they're both brats, deserving, but brats nonetheless. And I love how that came out. Now we're gonna work on the under eye. And once I do the rest of my face, it just makes the eyes come together. So yes, I do like the peach. I do like the peach. We're going with the peach and the blue. Yes, I like it. Okay, and now we are going to switch to, this is ultra bright, don't worry about it, L'Oreal Paris Neutral Match Super Blend Concealer Warm, I'm going to have to set this with my pressed powder.
one more. And that's it. So that is there. And then with the leftover, oh dear, with the leftover of that uh, Java I had. I don't know where my music went to. Mm -hmm. I to get my makeup wipes out because all of my brushes are touching and I don't want them touching. My slushies melting. Music just paused. Oh, my LA color nail powder. I'll be losing a place in my mirror and all. So it looks like I'm going to be inserting music since my music keeps pausing on me. goodness that dried down that dried down quickly that's okay oh there's my music A little more. Just pulled up all my makeup. Okay, don't panic. Did too much patting.
fixed. Whew. Okay, last portion.
the most. Mm, I am hitting bottom on this. Okay. Oof. That one fit in my brow. They came out thick. Leave them alone. Did I set up this powder? I 
think this is the longest I've ever worked on a look before. And these eyes are nowhere near even. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get them there though. Okay, I cannot put anything in my waterline. My eye just gets too dry for it. But I do want to
Oh my goodness, look at you. <laughs> and I'm not even nowhere near done. I still have to do mascara and my lips. But just how that product off of there. Okay. Who started the drinks in the videos? Who started it? Okay. This is empty, but I like the brush on it. This is empty, but I also like the brush on it. This I like. But because it's a sample, so perfect color. I like it. Or not color, formula. You can already see the difference. See a difference. Again, these are empty, but I like the brushes. So I keep them. And they're not dried out either. So once I get the product on from the full bottle, Use these to spread it out. And I use what's in there. Because one time I thought a bottle was empty and then I accidentally snapped the handle off from using it so much. There was a ton left in there. A ton left in it. Actually, I think I've thrown it away now, but I try to keep the bottle by sealing it with a balloon and puncturing a small hole it worked for a while and i got a lot more product out of that bottle too I tell you guys i am so spendthrift i will find a way to recycle but i know it probably have some impurities in it as well so i did get rid of it and they say you're supposed to keep half of your makeup products for no longer than two years once you crack that seal open. And I do not wear lashes. I like this look. I'm actually quite satisfied with the turnout. Wings and all. Could have cleaned it up a little better, but... Even with my hooded eyelid, it still came out great. You know, it took me forever to learn how to wink. Forever. Let's see if we can get these bottom lashes without messing up everything. Put that down. Here we go. 
That's why I like this one because I can get my bottom lashes. Did it. NYX Deep Blue Eyeliner. We're gonna go into the waterline. We're gonna do it. We're gonna brave it. We're gonna do it. See the difference. There goes my music again. Oh my, I have eyelash. I have two of them. Two eyelashes hanging that if they get in my eye I know I know for a fact I'm gonna be crying okay Whew. hope those do not come out tonight at least not to at least get the mascara off my brows. No, yeah, this is a dot. So I got these little ones in an Ulta kit. A while ago, a while ago, first we are going to moisturize the lips. With some oils, that is. Favorite lip liner, CoverGirl, Perfect Blend. Honestly, I could stop here with overlining my lips. But how am I? Am I gonna stop there? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I gonna stop there? I should. I really should since I'm not really going anywhere. 
<sighs> I'm not. The color is peach. So I haven't opened this yet. Namaste all day. Julius Smith Beauty. But I'm going to open that directly on Mother's Day. Directly on Mother's Day. I have so many I have not opened yet. And then I have this one too. Again, Glam Bag Epsi. Look at those. Look at that. Look at that. This is why I'm going with Peach on Mother's Day. I see a fine line. I think the oil I put on tastes good. I know this is supposed to be a liner. But I love this color so much, it turns into lipstick sometimes. Blend it with my gloss and my oils and it just turns into my lip color. And I just love how this look came out. Especially my lips and the cheeks and what am I missing? I remembered my brows. So here's another thing that I also used to do, get my black lipstick and go over it. I learned somewhere around August of last year that I really like black lipstick, but I don't have any black pencils. So. My sister Vanessa actually gave me this lipstick. I am going to get better at doing my makeup and talking eventually. Eventually. Right now, I just want to get the looks together. Okay. Part of the reason why I have a straw. Mm. So, still didn't get the cut crease that I want, but I am very happy with the wings and how they came out. And also the highlight on the cheeks. I love it. 
I need this to be gone by Sunday, though. I'm going to need to stop eating all these Sour Patch Kids by Sunday, too. Alrighty. And that is what I have for today. I'm going to take some quick pictures. Oh! The wrap is going to be part of the look. But not the whole look. Take this off. Let the hair out. There we go. Do a couple poses with the camera. I do not do my edges. My edges do not stay down. They, they simply do not. My edges move all the time. They never stay where they're supposed to be. <gasps> I didn't show you my Epsi bags that are going to be a part of this photo shoot for Mother's Day. These are going to be my bags featured in my photo. And off she went to change the world. A must. And then this glitter bag, of course, has to make an appearance. Love them, love them, love them. And I am actually contemplating. <sighs> what am I contemplating? I am actually contemplating. I don't know how I'm going to do my hair. But I will continue to think about it. And there I go scratching my head. I need to stop scratching my head in these videos.